Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am going to do my update for my 10 Drop 10 by Summer Project Pan with the Fantastic Ladies. There are a ton of us here on YouTube doing this, as well as Instagram, as well as people that don't have any kind of social media that they want to report on. They're just doing it for the fun of it, and they've been mentioning in the comments that they've been loving doing this and watching everybody's videos. So. I also have been enjoying everybody's updates and everybody's videos. It has been so much fun being part of this community and just enjoying the love of makeup and enjoying people's products that they chose and seeing what people can actually use up in a three month time frame. I'm just, I'm loving this and I'm really enjoying it. I am also doing the weight part of this, so I'm trying to also drop 10 pounds as well. So my ultimate goal would to be, I didn't, okay. Let me start with the weight aspect of this. As you guys know, I do have a fasting video on my channel which I showed my weight at. So, hold on. I just had this beautiful. beautiful. Thank you. Can I have it? Mm -hmm. Look what Carter drew for me. How beautiful is that? Isn't that awesome? So as you guys saw on my fasting video, you guys did see my weight. So honestly, at this point, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if you guys know my weight anymore. I don't care if you guys know how much I fluctuate and how hard and a struggle it is to really lose those last like 10 to 20 pounds that I've been trying to lose now for a while. And you know what? The struggle is real. And I know a lot of you guys struggle with the exact same thing as I do. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the weight and tell you guys my actual weight. So when I started this project, I was at 156 pounds and now I have only lost two pounds. Consistently, I've been weighing myself every day for a week now and I took the average and that is at 154 pounds. So I fluctuate between like four to six pounds every single day, just depending on how much water I drink, how much food I had, how much exercise I'm doing. I've been doing a lot of exercise lately and Honestly, I'm just taking my average at this point, and I'm also doing an ab challenge right now that I just started two days ago, and it is doing 500 crunches every single day for 30 days, and I measured my waist and my hips and my love handles to see if they go down at all, so I'm hoping that that will help this challenge as well, because by the end of the month, I'm hoping to be down quite a bit sizably wise within the next 30 days. So hopefully that'll help me out in that aspect. But right now I've only gone two pounds down in the last month and honestly, I'm not mad about it. Two pounds is a good number and I've been losing weight very, very slowly and I've been able to keep it off because I've been losing weight so slowly. So honestly, I'm not sad about that number whatsoever and I'm just gonna keep going with it and I hope that anybody else that's doing the weight part of this is doing really, really well as well. And you know, just search for motivation wherever you can. I can make a video on weight loss motivation and how to get yourself motivated and how to stay motivated once that kind of initial weight loss excitement has kind of faded. So if you guys want me to do that, I can definitely do that and show you my own personal tips and tricks for that. So just let me know down in the comments below if you want to give me like a if you want me to give you like a weight loss motivational type of video. It would probably be pretty short. Um, just a couple minutes long and just what I do to keep myself motivated and keep myself thinking about weight loss and not getting, you know, caught up in the hype of um, goodies. Basically, I'm going to a bunch of parties and baby showers and stuff like that and I can give you guys a lot of tips and tricks on those kind of things. So just let me know if you guys want that video down in the comments below. But other than that, let's get on to the makeup aspect of this video. So the first item I put in this project is a perfume and is the Davidoff Cool Water with Women's Eau de Toilette perfume and there we are there on this product. I'm not super happy with my progress on this. I really thought this would be gone by this update but honestly I've been using my little sample perfumes and I've been enjoying them and to be truthfully honest I already finished up like a small size of this and I also had a lotion and a body wash that I used of this and I'm really sick of using it to be totally honest. So. I'm having a hard time using it simply because I don't want to use it right now, but I do want to finish this. So I hope to have this gone by the next update so I can just get it out of my collection. So the next product that I have in this project is the Essence Make Me Brow in 02 Brownie Brows. This one is getting extremely dried out. Like 
it's almost gone. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up eyedroppering it and taking out the stopper in it. And honestly, I can't see it lasting any longer than this project as a whole. It's getting so dry. It's really hard to get any product off of this at all. And honestly, I've been loving using this. This is the perfect color for me. It is like the tiniest bit dark. But if I go to the lighter shade, then it's way too light. So I'm just having kind of a hard time getting that perfect shade for me. But honestly, I've been loving using this. This is so comparable to the um, Benefit Gimme Brow that I will never buy that again because this is so much more affordable and it does the exact same thing. So I'm very happy with this and I will continue using it. The next item I have is the Pure Lease BB Cream Tinted Moist Cream SPF 30 and I have the shade Medium and this is the product here. I have used this quite a few times. Honestly, I don't think that there's much in here left. I think uh, I'm only gonna have maybe five more uses out of this and then I'll be sad because then it'll be gone and I definitely see myself repurchasing this. Honestly, Pure Lease as a brand as a whole, I have been obsessed with. Every single thing that I've tried from their brand, from everything from skincare to um, masks to eye gels to scrubs, everything I have used, foundations, this BB cream is definitely a foundation for me. I have loved everything from them. So I definitely can see myself picking up the full size in the future. I don't need any more right now. Um, I'm definitely going to use up what I have, but I've been loving this one. I wear it in almost every single one of my videos just because I just really enjoy it. And I wear this on an everyday basis because I just really, really like it. I'm not wearing it today, unfortunately, but... I do really enjoy it and I will continue to use it, especially the fact that it has an SPF of 30 in it. I love wearing this when I can go for walks and stuff like that because I feel like it's very protective on my skin. Thank you. The next thing is the Tarte Gifted Mascara. This is the everyday mascara I've been wearing literally every single day. It looks a little bit light on the lashes. I don't have any mascara on today. I'm giving my eyes a little bit of a break right now, but I don't have any mascara on right now. But if you put one coat of this on, it looks very natural and beautiful and just easy going and fresh. But when you put two coats, it's like I have fake lashes. It's the most amazing mascara because I don't have any other mascara that can transition that much in two coats. Literally that much. Like it can go from so just soft and gentle and natural looking on, this, on the lashes to being literally false lash, lash effect mascara. It's amazing. I love this mascara. It is a very wet formula. I have noticed since it's been drying out a little bit since I've been using it so much that it is getting a little bit clumpy on the second application. So I am going to do an eyedropper in this as well and keep it very wet in the formula. But honestly, I would recommend this to everyone. Not only that, but I just think the packaging is just so beautiful. It's like this wood packaging. I mean, they just hit the nail on the head with this one. I love Tarte mascaras, and this one is no exception. It is excellent, and I've been loving using this. And I'm actually going to be sad once this project's over because that means that this one will be done being used because I'm going to use this for the full three months, and I love it. What can I say? The next product I have is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. It is the lipstick I have on today. I do have a lip topper from Jouer on over top and I will leave the color here, but I am getting so close to the end of this. It is getting so dry. I will flip it around. You guys can definitely see like the little windows in the packaging where I've just been scraping it like crazy. And I did take the stopper out of it so it looks extremely messy, like extremely messy, but it is almost gone. And honestly, this formula is drying out so much. It's a little sad how much it's drying out because I love this formula, but it's very, very old. This was one of my very first high-end liquid lipstick purchases that I've ever had, and I love it. And I do have a little sample guy of this, so when I'm done using this one, I can use that. But honestly, this is one of the most perfect 
brown nudes on me ever and I really do enjoy wearing this one and like I said with this one I am going to continue wearing it for the entirety of this project and then after that I will be decluttering it because it is getting very old. I don't want to pass it off to anybody especially because it looks so nasty with the stopper being out of it but honestly it's just getting to its very last leg. I'm hoping to completely use it up. I'm not sure that I will um, just because I don't wear liquid lipstick very often but I'm going to get as much use out of this as I can knowing that I'm going to be decluttering this at the very end of this project. So I want to use it up. I think I can do it, but we'll see. Product number six is the Too Faced Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer, and it's like this little sample guy, and it is the bronzer that I am wearing today. It does have a very orange glowy effect on me. I think this will be better if my skin was a little bit more tan, but here is a close-up of the product. I don't even really have a dip in it yet, which is really crazy to me because I use a very, very fluffy brush for this. I just swirl it all around and just kind of do, 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 do all over my face. And I'm surprised that I haven't gotten even the tiniest bit of a dip in it, but it's a very, very orange color for me. You can see how orange it is on my skin. And Honestly, it does look orange on my face as well, which I don't completely love. I don't know. I do know that when I originally used this and purchased it, it was in the summer months, so I'm hoping that I get a little bit more tan and that I can use this a little bit more. I haven't been using it every single day. I've been trying to use it at least twice a week, but yeah, I'm just going to keep using it and keep enjoying it and yeah I do like the glowy effect that it gives my skin but I don't like how orange my skin looks so I feel like I'm trading off here and I feel like I have enough bronzers in my collection I shouldn't have to trade off you know what I mean like I feel like I have enough things that I enjoy that don't make me look orange that I can use but I want to continue using this I do have the full size already in my collection so I need to use up this little sample guy so that I can start using the full size Number seven is my Elizabeth Mott What Up Beaches blush, or no, sorry, Show Me Your Cheeks blush in the shade Peach Pink. And this one I had in my project pan last year. I had hit pan on it, and then I was down to, it looked like almost nothing, and then I repressed it. So this is it repressed. I have since hit pan here in the corner. If you guys can see it, maybe I'll flip it around up here in the corner and I've been using this as a blush topper every single day with a very very flimsy lightweight luxe brush and I've been really enjoying using it and I love the color like this color is so perfect on me I do feel like I'm gonna hit pan in the center of the pan here very soon on this again and I'm hoping it won't crack or break but here is a swatch of it here I just think it's the most perfect color for a blush topper I do have it on my cheeks today I put like I said such a light coating on you don't need much of this to make it show up because it is so pigmented and beautiful. I love this blush. I already have the full size in my collection and I will continue using that one. Next items I have for this. This is my number eight product and it is the Hey Honey 24 seven Honey Day and Night Moisturizing Cream. This one is almost gone. You guys can see like it, seriously, there's probably like four or five uses left out of this. I have to use so little of this to make it work and I love this moisturizer. Honestly, I can use this for day or night, but I really like this one for the daytime because it's so lightweight on the skin. I do have a full size here that's completely full so you guys can tell how much I've used of this little sample guy and I plan on using both of them up. I did purchase a full size of this product in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, which you guys can check out my haul if you'd like. I will link it down in the description below. But I did purchase the full size, so I definitely want to get these two little sample guys out of my collection because they've been in my collection for quite some time now and use them up. So I've loving, I'm loving using these. I've been using them every single day whether or not I'm wearing makeup. And I got this much use out of one month, so I'm hoping... I don't know. I know that some of this was used up before I started this product project, but that's quite a bit left. I don't know. We'll see. I'll definitely have this one gone, but hopefully I, I can get this one at least halfway used up by the end of this project. And my number nine product is the Maybelline Master Fix 
um, wear boosting setting spray and that is where I was the last time. My son has since removed my silver marker and I have no idea where it is so I'm either gonna have to find it or get another one so I can actually mark this but I am right in the middle of the pink here like right in the middle of the pink so I've gone down quite significantly I don't use this setting spray every single day but it is very comparable to the Urban Decay all-nighter setting spray the smell and everything is so similar it doesn't make your makeup last as long as the Urban Decay but it's so similar and it's drugstore and it's way cheaper. So I have been enjoying using this. The mister on it is fantastic. And I will definitely have this probably almost, if not all the way used up by the next update because I feel like I used half of what was left. So I think I can get the rest of it gone by the next update. We will see. It depends on how much I wear my makeup. Honestly, I don't wear makeup every day. So that's the major factor in using up setting sprays. And then the very last items that I have are the masks that I put in this project and they are both from 7th Heaven. This is the Dead Sea Mud Pack mask and then this was the chocolate mask. So I have used up completely this blue Dead Sea Mud Pack mask and this was literally blue on my face. I'm just saying. I loved it though. I actually used it the first time and then I squeezed all of the product out of there and put it in this little jewelry container that I found at Walmart. You can get a bunch of these for like five bucks. And yeah, I just put it in this little container. It's completely cleaned out now because I was getting it ready for the chocolate mask, but I haven't since opened this one yet because I've been using some other face masks just to try to get some different things out of my collection. But these are my oldest masks that I have. And yeah, I just want to get this used up. If I end up using this chocolate mask up before the next update, I plan on putting in another mask, just rolling in something else to use in this project because I want to get as many masks out of my collection as I can. I have been purchasing new masks, not right now, but I had previously purchased quite a few different new masks that I really want to try out. And I want to get all these old masks out of my collection first because it's silly to keep old and not, you know what I mean? And not use up what I already have. That's silly. Especially because I'm on a no buy right now. So I'm just enjoying using all my products. So that is that. So one mask down, one mask to go. So that's halfway done. So I think the mask section is a success in this project so far. So those were all of my products and like I said, I did my weight at the beginning of it. I have lost two pounds, so I think that that is successful as well. I don't mind losing weight slowly. I'm perfectly okay with that because I tend to keep weight off if I lose it slowly as opposed to losing it all at one time. I definitely don't keep it off at that point. I'll lose 10 pounds super fast and then I'll gain it all right back the next month. So. I am so happy with losing the two pounds and I hope you guys are all doing as well as I am. I feel like I'm doing really well with this project and I know watching some of your guys' updates you have been doing well as well and I hope you are still enjoying watching project pans because I'm still enjoying doing them <laughs> and especially because I'm on this no buy that it feels really good to just keep using up products that you know I've been loving and I've been you know really finding products that I love and enjoy and I don't know, it just gives me a new sense of hope for my makeup because I'm kind of bored of like some of the products that I have. But then I look around and I'm like, oh, I haven't used this in a while. It's like getting something brand new, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.